Maka malamatume malibongwe 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 Ika malama ile malibongwe 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 Thank you very much. Hala, hala, my boy, hala, hala. Eh, bari di mchana di bo filwe, so we are at home. Rale bo kakakulu with a warm welcome. Now, at this point in time, eh, I'm going to call the MEC for Human Settlement and Infrastructure Development, MEC Lebo Khang Maile, to do his input and then hand over to the school. San Bonan. Dumelang. Absheni. Hue More. Good morning. Uh, I want all learners, when I say we are the future, you must say no one can stop us. We are the future. No one can stop us. We are the future. We are the future. No one can stop us. So are you happy for your new school? Are you going to take care of your new school? Are you going to respect your teachers? Boys, are you going to respect girls? Boys, are you going to respect girls? Girls, are you going to respect boys? Yeah. Boys, are you going to respect girls? Yeah. Learners, are you going to respect your teachers? Yeah. Learners, are you going to do your school work? Yeah. Learners, are you going to respect your parents? Yeah. Learners, are you going to keep your school clean? Learners, are you going to love each other? Yeah. Are you going to pass? Yeah. Are you going to pass? Yeah. yeah. Honorable Premier, the learners are very happy. And se ababonge la namsange, emisi madume, oguti abantu ana baze bangena eskolen sabo. Dala bas lindile. Angiti. So iskolo se nunamsanje. Amatlas avuliwe. Amatlas aredi. He phase one yes kolo le. Yogmele si kazi ga ase. Ngoba lezi esinye se ikolo lezi. Uprimi angaskata saso MEC wa education. What he a how then as fun waka is colo pela. Sifunugu tabantuana. Mawas as coloin. Bacone uguti. Bazale i polo. Bazale basketball. Bazale i netball. Bazale i cricket. So. Ngoba sifuna uguti. Sifuna uguti. Sibe nama player. Cameraman. Sifunu guti siwe na ma player fo eba fana ba fana ngiti. Sibe na ma player fo ama poro poro ngiti. So that's why in phase two, Izoba is built se astetelel. Then gube ne holo enku luguti imvula maina sikonukbambi assembly tu gashela apu ngiti. 
So, besiti sikakri se logo nje. Kula aba, aba ngeko show kutuwenza galani. Iskolo sikretiwe, sipelile, siredi. Sibonile, aba ntumama pepa, bebele kubati, asifuni o siashulega ukvuli skolo. But we are a responsible government. Yes, if we scholar, sing a rabbi ready. We are not king as ning. As in your elo zing king, our good la, you water pressure. It's not good. So we had to sort out those issues to make sure our good. Abandon na mabange na matwele da sebenza. Abandon na mabange na guna manzila. So si chabli le teiswa na msla nje u premier kona aso vuli scholar. Si satisfied to go to the principal and about to share, bangat kubega la pambili ngimfundo yabantuan. So we thought to go to the practice logo kala as we hand over the school namshangi, the department of infrastructure. So without wasting any time, moba umundo zo kuluma namshangi, ozo nigela na ngengkulumo yelanga. U premier we tundunangulu, u babu panya za lusufi. Mfunuk nigezela le stifkate gu babu matume chiluani to hand over a stifkate so good is kolo si ready si as si as vula and then nzom niga ne kia eh principal principal oh principal oh eh nzaniga na zila eh na zis stifkate principal la Retofa wa nadi kia principal, ukazi swara. Principal, kizadi kia, ugai mamu, kizadi kia principal, kizadi kia la dibon, kizadi kia zadi klasi kamu ka, leskaro wa di klasi, raudwana, eh, kizadi rifa principal, principal au tuwe di kia kamu ka. Congratulations, Principal. Let's talk about Salina. And congratulations to the SGP. Congratulations, MEC. Thank you very much, Raleboha, Program Director. Thank you very much. Hala, la, MEC, Maile, hala, la. Hala, la, MEC, Maile, hala, la. Our retori di kia, di kia di morina, re moha e re alevoha. Thank you so much, MEC Maile. Now, at this point, I am going to change our program a little bit and start with the Lena. The Lena Tsibang Nong, who must come and do the poem. Where's Tsibang? Let's welcome her, let's welcome her with a round of applause. Let's welcome her. Okay, over to you, me. Stand here. Am I in the middle? In the middle. Good. Greetings to you all. My name is Tibang Nong, and I'm going to present you a poem, In a World of Dreams. In a world of dreams and endless possibility, a new school merges like a shining star at sea, with minds eager to learn and hearts full. Full of ambitions, we embark on a journey, a grand expedition, with each brick laid and each room prepared, a heaven for knowledge where dreams are shared. Teachers like guides leading the way, nurturing young minds day after day. In this new school, we foster creativity and art unleashing imagination. The laughter of children fills the air as friendship blossoms beyond compare. 
In this new school, we embrace diversity, a melting pot of culture's vibrant tapestry. With open hearts and minds, we strive for excellence, leaving no one behind. A new school images a beacon of hope, where dreams take flight, where future elope. So let us launch this new school with pride, with passion, with purpose. Side by side for in this journey, we will surely find a world of possibilities forever intertwined. Hala hala, my buye, hala hala. As for the Department of Education, siyabulela, siyabonga, rielebuwa. Thank you. My name is Baba Luenze Kuping, a child that is led by Dr. Uzulezo S.P. Khatebe, the head girl of Maibuye Primary School. I am ecstatic about the new school of Maibuye Primary School. Although it's been a while, we were learning in, cl in classrooms of containers. For us as learners could be exhilarated by learning with laptops and, computer and computers. We thank you, Mr. Ramutla. Thank you, District Director. Thank you, MEC of Education. Thank you, Premier of our province. And as and as as learners, we. We promise you. We promise to take care of a school. Thank you. Thank you so much. You done me? Thank you very much, my little girls. Thank you so much. You may leave the stage after greeting the premier. Hala, hala, my boy, hala, hala. But it's a little zela, but me nang zwanga ugli zela. I guess little zela, I guess little zela, it's bonise. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you very much. We are moving on with our program. Uh, Premier and MECs, we, we're meeting today on the 7th of February 2024, and today is the World Read Aloud Day. And I'm sure you have heard our learners can read aloud and they can speak aloud. Even from here, we are going to ask them to continue reading aloud to all the parents that are here. When you go back home, get something, get a news, newspaper clip, get a book and read aloud to your children so that you become part of the celebration of the World Read Aloud Day. Uh, our next speaker is going to be our MEC for Education, uh, MEC Matome Chilwane, over to you, MEC. <laughs> Round of applause for the MEC. Thank you. 
Dumelang San Bonani Molueni Tovel Abshin Bargain Di Machelu Hoya More. It's important to receive Malimeka Moka, especially Mohautimo. Hey, Premier. You know, of late, they, they, I've become a teacher myself. Barke Valentry. Kiss tour. Oh, you want to see if I can still read? I'm not the right person. We left them. We should be reading this uh, story. But thank you so much, Program Director, our District Director. Uh, the Premier of uh, Houting, uh, Honorable Banyazali Sufi, the MEC responsible for infrastructure development and human settlement, Honorable Ndate Lebuhang Maile, Luenake Okenya Ndate, Baskar Ndate Bafela Ka Premier Fela, Lukenya Mubu Ndate <laughs> the senior management entirely led by the DG as well as the HOD of uh, the Department of uh, Education, uh, principals present here, teachers who the system relies upon, SGBs that are present, fellow par parents who are present here, dear learners. Manabaka kise skolo salona khalele semetsi la sibona se sitle se a bontsa gore bokamoso ba lona bojwang you can see by the beauty of the school the infrastructure which i'm proud of uh, premier there's all, there's been this argument since we're dealing with admissions premier about the high pressure areas or schools in demand. And mostly the perception, you know, I always say it's a perception that township schools are not better than former Model C schools. And it's not true. And time and time and again, this government has ensured that we improve the state of our township schools. We ensure that our township schools are at the same level and only on infrastructure. It does not determine the quality that is provided by those schools. It does not determine the quality of educators because educators are the ones who demonstrate the quality of education that learners will get. And we know, and we've always been consistent, that all our teachers in our province, in all schools, they've been to the same university. And that means they know the same thing. So parents need to know that, that it does not matter where we would place your child. As a department, we are responsible and will never put our kids in an environment where we know there is no effect effective and efficient teaching and learning. We've been waiting for this school for quite some time. Uh, one of the officials says that uh, there's a learner who finished grade seven waiting for this school. Uh, that's how long we've been waiting for this school. Uh, now, I like this saying, Premier, that uh, it says, all is well that ends well. So it doesn't matter the journey. All is well that ends well because we are here. So what we would want to ask, or what I would want to ask the, from the community Please, this is your school, protect it. Please protect the school. Please ensure that this school remains the way it is today, even next year, even five years from down the line. Because this school must ensure that from this very same community, we have future leaders for our country. We have doctors from, our, from this school. So we need to protect it because we're protecting 
our society. Our learners, I know they will protect it. So before, because uh, mine is not to make a speech, uh, is to introduce the Premier. I'd want to just to speak to parents, uh, Premier, before I call you. I took a quote from uh, a principal in uh, Ingoy Academy. He had posted it uh, primary school. He had posted it in the, in the admin block for parents to read. It says, dear parents, school is about to start. So please sit down with your child for five minutes and explain to your child that being very tall, short, chubby, skinny, black, or white is no joke. That there is nothing wrong with wearing the same shoes every day. Explain to them that the same new school bag carries the same dreams as the new one. Teach them not to exclude someone because of their different or to not have the same opportunities as others. Explain to them that teasing hurts and that they, they go to school to learn, not to compete. You, have, you and I have the same value. Education starts at home. Therefore, he further says, it's at home that children should learn to say, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, please, with your permission, sorry, forgive me, thank you very much, thank you, I was wrong. And furthermore, he says, it's at home that we must also learn to be honest, to be punctual, do not insult, be polite, respect everyone, friends, colleagues, elders, teachers, and authorities. And still at home, it's where we learn to eat everything, do not talk with your mouth full, have personal hygiene, do not, don't throw litter on the ground, help parents with daily chores, don't take what doesn't belong to you, be content with what you have, work honestly to earn a living, dress with modesty. Furthermore, at home, we still learn to get organized, take care of your belongings, do not touch other people's belongings, respect the rules, speak your mother tongue, and master your culture and spirituality. That's home. Spirituality. Yaki, you were right, I should have read this thing. Because at school, teachers should teach English, mathematics, Susutu, history, geography, life skills, life orientation, natural science and technology, creative arts, EMS, physical education and sports, and cultural activities. So at school, we only reinforce what the learner has learned at home. Because it is what the learner would have learned at home, that individuals will be respected and that they will be able to respect life. So therefore, without taking much time, mine was introduced the son of the soil. He said he was responsible for demarcating this area to become a residential area a few, many years ago. Uh, the premier of Gauteng, Dadele Suf.
Ralevo, Ralevo. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Truly appreciate that. Program Director, Me Sheli Mulobi. The MEC responsible for education and youth development, Ntate Matume Chilwan. The MEC responsible for human settlement and infrastructure development, Ntate Lebukham Maile. The Ward Councillor, Me Enjim Paho. The leadership of GPG in administration represented here by our DG, Datem Suwe, the HOD is responsible for DID, and the HOD responsible for education and officials of the two departments. The leadership of the community represented here by the zonal leadership, representatives of various structures, churches, civic movement, teacher formations, and other organizations that have joined us, including the leadership of the QLTC and the chairperson of the SGB, Ndate Matlinkosi Palen. Teachers and learners of Maibuye. Batanda, Bangatandi, Imaibuye, Ibuye. Batanda, Bangatandi, Imaibuye, Ibuye. I want to start by openly apologizing to the community of Maibuye. I want to also openly apologize to the SGB of Maibuye, the teachers of Maibuye, as well as the learners of Maibuye. I'm apologizing to you because we had so many things that we needed to solve before you can come to this school today. We want to apologize with Sintalisem Kukui Niska Desit. We want to apologize Abu Mama. I know I'm a stalking swain, but I'm not sure. I want to apologize Abu Baba. I'm a Prugwain, but I'm a Tabu. But I further want to apologize for the weather patterns that they had to absorb for you to teach our children. And that is why. I felt it's appropriate for me, before I can say whatever that I want to say, to openly apologize, all of you. What has happened to my buye? I said it to MEC Maile. I said it to MEC Matume Chilwane. What has happened here in building this school must never, never, never happen to any community in Gaudi. Any contractor that we appoint to build a school and that contractor can't build or finish a school, that contractor must never be given any job in Gaudi forever. <laughs> any contractor that we give a responsibility to build the future of our children and that responsibility Constructor gambles with the future of our children. That contractor must be blacklisted across the country and not get a job across the country. Yeah. We can't tolerate people who think they can do as they wish with public funds. DG, MEC Miley raised one important thing. Even our officials that are responsible for executing some of the tasks that we have given them, we can't leave them unattended for the mess that they've made here in Maibuye. It can't be 
that when we build school for black children, the arrangement must be clumsy. But when we build school for other children, the arrangement must be top class. It must come to an end. When you build a school for all our children, all our children must be respected. And the school must be built on time, finished on time, and handed over on time to our communities. So what has happened here in Maibuye must come to an end. And I know there are other schools not far from here that are also in the same situation in Maibuye. The way I insisted, the way we insisted as the Gauteng government that Maibuye must be opened regardless of what, we must insist that even those schools that are still incomplete in Gauteng must be concluded. Starting with a school that is not far from here called Peishli Acres High School, MEC Matume Chilwan. That school is now going five years. It's not finished, it's standing empty, and children have to travel to Captain Park looking for a school because a school next to where they stay is not finished because someone does not respect the lives of black children. It must come to an end. It must come to an end. And that basically must be finished, MEC Matum. Whoever does not want to finish that school must just leave that school and get somebody like we did here to finish that school and allow our children to continue with their education. We can't allow people to do as they wish with the resources of the state. Now our children can't play football because we need to conclude with phase two because somebody left this place. Now our children can't play rugby. They can't play tennis here because somebody has not concluded the task that they've given them. They must know we need people that can work and deal with our work in this particular school. So we are committed to conclude all these unfinished projects. And we will finish them. We told this particular school we must abandon it because it's in a wetland. And we insisted that whether it's in a wetland or not wetland, this school will be opened. And when we got reports that it was not a wetland, it was a sewer, it was clear that somebody didn't want this school to be open, and they were misleading us. We are proud that today we have removed sewer, we have removed wetland, this school is operating and the children of Maibuye are now inside beautiful classroom with free Wi-Fi, with sp uh, 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 smart boards, with laboratories, and they are learning in our schools. We are proud as the Gauteng government because we value education. We value education in our province. We are the only province that built a primary school with a laboratory. We are the only province that built a school, a primary school with a full library. We are the only province that built a school with full great art classroom where our children have showers in the classroom so that even if they don't have showers at home, they can come and shower inside the classroom and proceed. We are proud of our investment in education. We are proud of our investment in education. And I want to urge the community of Maibuye. Councillor, community leadership. This school is equipped with CCTV cameras across the school. How somewhere, you will never even find anything here 
will catch you before you even jump the fence because we've got cameras in this particular school. We are tired of people that think that our schools can be broken into. We are tired of people that think they can come to our schools and vandalize our schools. We are tired of people that think that they can do as they wish in our schools. We are protecting our schools. And we are not only putting cameras. We are putting an armed response security company that must come here, a company that must come here. We can't allow people to do wrong things in our schools. But we want to put this message across as well. It's a very important message. Community of Maibuye. If you want to have a wedding in this school, you are allowed. If you want to have a funeral in this school, you are allowed. If you want to have a church service in this school, you are allowed. If you have one community meetings in this school, you are allowed. But Samaya Lidi Tutu Tao after utilizing our schools so that you don't keep our school dirty because of the things that you especially the churches. We don't mind do Jesu Bambetelin, Halifeza or Rapel or Jesu Bambetelin, Saman Lidi Kere Setalina, Liskafa Banabar Nama Timona La Sile Modikolunzaro. So, this is a community property. It must be utilized by the community. But we ask you as the community, if you are using our facilities, please take care of these facilities. Counselors, community leaders, you can have your community meeting here. But if you remove chairs from a certain classroom because you want more chairs, after the meeting, take that chair and take it back where you took it. Don't make our children, before they start with a lesson, they must go looking for chairs all over our communities. This is how you protect an investment, and this is how you protect a school. So we want our schools to be part of community life. We want our schools to be owned by communities. I used to come here during COVID to ensure that this school is not broken into. We used to come here when this school was abandoned, but it was this community that protected this school to ensure that we have everything that we are having today. So I want to thank all the community leaders that are here. Continue to protect this school. But there are other things we want to confirm. MEC Maile indicated that we still have to conclude phase two of this school. We want that community all. MEC Matome Chilwan. These kids, during school nutrition break, we must not have them eating all over here. They must eat inside that wall and have their meal nicely decked there. So that wall, MEC Madume Chilwan and MEC Maide. Kadi 27th April, Freedom Day, we must open that wall so that we celebrate our freedom in that particular wall. We must also conclude we must also conclude the sporting facilities. I want our children to play in that field so that they can be the future Bafana Bafana that we need. Bantuanabam, Banabak, we are over this school to you today. We are proud that finally. We are taking you out of a shake. We are bringing you to Kanana, Le Fasilama, Swilidi Nose. We are proud that we are giving a school that is beautiful, 
a school that is worth almost 60 million rands. That's the investment that we are bringing to you now. We are bringing to you a school where all our children that are in grade 7, you will have free data every time you are in this particular school. And all our grade 7s, we will give you a free laptop when you are in this particular school. And all our teachers will also have their free laptop and free Wi-Fi. That's how we rock in Khaudi. Banabak, if there is something that will disappoint me, so this we are declaring this school a drug free school there will be no child that will bring drugs in this school we are declaring this school our first gbv free school there will be no girl child that is going to be attacked by a boy in this school. All girl children will be protected. There will be no teacher that will look at our children as if they are boyfriends or girlfriend. Teachers, these are learners. Treat them as learners in that particular physician. There will be no learner here. There will be no learner here that a community member can just come here and attack our learner in this particular school. We'll protect this school with patrollers. We have already appointed patrollers that will ensure that every person in this school will be safe. Teachers, teachers, especially those that have smartphones, from tomorrow we're installing panic button in your smartphones. If you feel threatened, you press that button, all our police will come here to come and protect you because we need to protect all our people in this particular community. We don't want people to take chances in this particular school. As I conclude, As I conclude, MEC Maile, MEC Matume Chilwan, we did it before we can do it now. At one stage in Gauteng, we're opening a new school every month. We must go back there and open a new school every month in Gauteng. We must have more schools than any other province in our, pro in our country. Because education is the foundation that if it's strong, is going to defeat poverty, is going to defeat unemployment. We'll rather have more schools than any other thing in our province. So, community of Maibuye, Banaba Maibuye, teacher of Maibuye, Zamayan Lorutam Banabarena, we want these kids to take over this country, and we want these kids to compete with the best in the world, and we want these kids to be innovative and creative and create new products in our country. Batanda, bangatande, imaibuye, ibuyile. Thank you so much. Thank you.